This is the coast to coast for the Volkswagen ID7 and we are just on my phone here. I wanted to grab a bit of footage going down the way. So we're leaving Dunleary with Dunleary, uh, with Tarrant. Uh, and it is, let me switch the camera around. Um, and then long term, this car has driven two and a half thousand kilometers and it was getting 18.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Sorry about the sun, not a bad complaint. And so let's give it a go. Yeah. So a reminder range, we are at charging 484. And so it's 100, 318, so roughly, jump into the comments, let me know what the difference is. Thanks. So I got down to Balmullet yesterday around about 3 o'clock. Didn't get a chance to film, but uh, since charging, this car has done 330 kilometres. So from Dunleary to Balmullet, I did a bit around the town yesterday. Uh, 5 hours and 13 minutes driving, an average of 64 kilometres an hour. So on the motorway, I was doing about 105 kilometres an hour. And then look at this, 14.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And so even though I left with 440 odd, with 330, um, the that would have said to me that I've only got 100 and odd left. And actually it's showing 188. So phenomenal efficiency with the Volkswagen ID7. That's coming down from Dublin. Uh, we're going to do it all again tomorrow, heading back up. So we can see six degrees today. Don't know what the temperature is going to be like tomorrow. This is the Saturday. And so heading back up tomorrow, I will do another update. Return journey from Belmullet to Dunleary, coast to coast back again. And we are at, do do do, and vehicle. status look at me is gonna make much difference so we are at range we are looking at uh, 400 and let me bring that camera in a bit closer uh, 496 kilometers on my driving style with a hundred percent um super efficient um long term it's down to 18.3 even though we got 14.8 on the way down and then short since charging we're down at zero um 15.2 is what I ended up at with 347 kilometers But yeah, very impressed super impressed actually put it up on social media with regards to How efficient it is that such a big car that 15 kilowatt hour per hundred kilometers is getting you that 500 kilometer range if you drive it like me 100 and 500 motorway it is eight degrees today. So similar to what we did coming down. It's a bit wet um, We're going from west to east. There is no real wind Let's give it a go. We have to stop in Mullingar for um, Easter lunch um, with Darwin and Patrizia and her family. Otherwise, stay tuned. Thanks. Here in Mullingar and we are back with the um, Volkswagen ID7. We're nearly on the way back up to Dublin. We're just fin finished visiting and... We are at 230 kilometers done. We actually stopped in Taurine in County Mayo to visit my godchild as well. We're driving three and a half hours, with average speed of 67, and then the average consumption of 16.4 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Not quite as good as going down to Mayo, which is interesting. I don't know whether it was headwind or whether it's just east to west versus west to east, but obviously got down with 14.8 kilowatt hours. Now I'm going hitting motorway after Mullingar all the way up, uh, and for, M4, N4, and then M50 around to Dunleary, and then we'll do a final video once we get there. The length of time, the distance to get to Dunleary from here is, thinking about it, um, I'm range left on the car, I'll show you that, is 243 at 49% so at 49% or 50% that's just showing you that you know the guts of 500 kilometers it's good for an 87 and then it's a hundred uh, sorry it's 99 kilometers from here so I'll be back there's no issue as somebody said to me recently the coast to coast are getting easier and easier with these type of cars but it's more so the difference between the motorway the national primary national secondary roads how you drive it and your average consumption it is now 13 degrees so the temperature is getting warmer I will give you an update once I get to Dunleary with the Volkswagen ID7. Thanks. And Darren. <laughs> Back in Dunleary and 
we have loads of kilometers left. Um, we worked out at a total journey, slightly more because we went over to, uh, not our usual way home, 329 kilometers of a journey. So Balmullet, Turin, Turin, Mullingar, via Lanesborough, and then back up to Dunleary. Nearly five hours driving, average speed 68 kilometers an hour, and then the kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, 16.4. So that would give you, also we have 100 and, uh, focus, 136 kilometers left on top of that 329, giving you, oh, let me turn you around, uh, about 470. So it's interesting, on the way back up from Belmullet, this time it's, I took it took me, the range on the car at my, driving style 470 kilometers of range with a 77 kilowatt hour battery and then on the way down I would have gotten 520 because I was doing I got a, a consumption rate of 14.8 so between 470 and 520 my driving style didn't change outside temperature roughly the same so I think it was headwind literally um 50 kilometers in the difference and these are the things you don't hear from petrol or diesel owners because they're not tracking it as minutely as what an electric car will do and it'll change that estimation. It's a little needle or it is a, an approximated range. But yeah, phenomenal efficiency uh, for such a large car. It's it's a long car. It's nearly five metres long, but it's the capacity of the boot. It's not so low down. It's a lovely sitting in. And I remember speaking to Mark Noble, Nobby on Cars, something and recently we were on a trip and he was saying that, did I realise how tall they were? Uh, the ID7s and I really didn't but this was parked up beside I also have a Tesla Model 3 new Highland this week and when I drive in with the Model 3 the uh, top of the door uh, is like a good six inches lower than the actual um, than the actual ID7 when you're parked up beside it so yeah, that is it. What else do I like about the drive itself? Uh, cruise control was excellent, adaptive cruise control and it has lane keep and lane centering um yeah it's a very smooth drive seats are nice and comfortable on this model that we're driving today it is heated cooled and um, massage uh, i know there's an optional seat massage one but this one didn't have it this has the harman kardon sound it has the id light it has the roof uh, that you can frost or unfrost with the flick of a switch if it was super sunny so overall, yeah, it's a it's for the money, and this is coming in at starting sub sixty thousand euros. If you're looking for a large family car and don't want to go ID four, ID five, don't discount the ID seven just because it's not an SUV. Boot is good, space is good, rear legroom is good, and efficiency because it's not ha tall. It's slipping through the air that aerodynamics. So that. You know, at a hundred kilometer, hundred and five kilometer on the motorway, you're going to get four seventy between four seventy and five twenty real world range. Now I know WLTP on this is six hundred kilometers, but um, we're not at that temperature and we're not at those combined driving speeds. But the coast to coast that I do is a nice mix of motorway, national, primary, national, secondary, as I've already said. But yeah, I've had a couple of reviews on the channel already. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did like the video, number one, number two, comment. It's great for the engagement. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to enjoy that video too. The full review of the ID7 when we got it to drive in the south of France, I think it was. Um, yeah, give that a click.